everyone and welcome back to campus and back to books, 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 the JKM Library's book recommendation show. I'm Jocelyn Codner, the Reference and Outreach Librarian, and I hope everyone is ready and excited for yet another academic year. One quick announcement, the Student Engagement and Employment Fair, we will be there. I will be there. I will have a table. The library will have a table and I will be sitting at it. So if you're interested in getting information about the library or if you want to hear about the student worker positions that we have open, we have a couple open, then stop by my table, the library's table, at the Student Employment and Engagement Fair. Engagement and Employment Fair? And, uh, and chat with me. I'd love to see you and say hi. I'll have lots of fun little giveaways too. So see you there. I have just a couple reminders for you so you can set yourself up for success this fall. The first is to remind you to use the library to get free course materials for your classes. There are a few ways that you can do this. The first is to search the library's catalog to see if we have a physical copy of what you need in the building. Second is to search our ebooks to see if we have the title that you need in ebook form. The library has access to over 1 million ebooks and you can search all of them by selecting the ebook tab on our homepage. Third is Easy Borrow. It's likely that you all already know about Easy Borrow, but if not, it's an interlibrary loan service where you can search for the title of the textbooks and course materials that you need through the Easy Borrow platform. And if available, you can request the titles that you need from our partner libraries who are also members of the Easy Borrow service. And then those books get mailed to the JKM library for you to pick up. There is a mail to home option. Basically, if you live outside a 10 mile radius of the JKM library, we'll mail you your book. Ask a librarian for more details. Fourth option, if we don't have it and if Easy Borrow doesn't seem like they have it, you can try filling out a blank book request form through Iliad. Iliad is another interlibrary loan service that you can take advantage of. I think most people think of Iliad in terms of journal articles. But you can also get book and book chapters through Iliad as well. If you need help finding and filling out a blank book request form through Iliad, please just ask a librarian. It really doesn't take that much time. It'd be very quick to walk you through it. Okay, and one more place to look. So technically option number five is the Carnegie Public Library System. If you're from the Pittsburgh area, you are probably familiar with CLP. It's pretty big, but if not, CLP is our largest public library system inside the city and in neighboring municipalities. There are a lot of books and also a lot of databases that you can access that we might not necessarily have access to through the JKM library. So get your CLP library card and take advantage. CLP branches also make wonderful third spaces if you're looking for just another place to go to get some work done or focus. They'll usually have conference rooms that can be signed out or quiet little nooks that you can scroll yourself away in to get some reading done. Okay, another thing I wanted to remind you of is that we have lots of how-to and tutorial videos right here on this very YouTube channel that you can access semester long to help you navigate different library resources and tools. Go to our channel's homepage and take some time just browsing the different videos there. You'll see all different kinds of how-tos and tutorials on different topics and different subject focuses that your librarians have taken the time to craft and put together for you. These are really helpful if you're trying to figure out how to use a specific database or need just a reminder on how to do some basics. In fact, we have a whole new series called Library Unlocked that focuses on exactly those basic how-tos and some fun tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your research. And here's where I ask all of you for something in return. If there is a specific topic or subject that you would like to see a how-to or tutorial video created for, please let me know, let another librarian know, put it in the comments below. We would love to make that video for you. The benefits of these videos is that you can access them at any time. It's not like trying to contact a librarian. So if you have a question at two in the morning, I hope you're sleeping at two in the morning. I know that sounds a bit fanciful and ideal, but get your sleep. And you can't get a librarian on the phone or via chat because we are asleep. You can still access these how-to videos and get your answers. So if there is a request that you would like us to create, please let us know. We'd be more than happy. So today I'm going to be highlighting just a few more titles from our summer reading list because technically 
it's still summer. You can find all of our summer reading books hanging out on our main book display on the first floor of the library building. We also have a digital list of all of the titles that we've selected for this year's summer reading, as well as titles all the way back for quite a few years, if you're interested. You can browse that list on our website and I will put the link in the description below. My first book today is Project Hail Mary by sci-fi darling Andy Weir. If the name Andy Weir sounds familiar to you, that's because he is the author of the beloved sci-fi hit, The Martian. Project Hail Mary is pretty similar to The Martian in that it focuses on a lone astronaut facing the odds using nothing but his wits and intelligence and snarky commentary. <laughs> In this one, our hero wakes up from a, you know, medically induced long-term sleep because he's going through some intense space travel to find that his fellow crew members are all dead and he doesn't remember anything. He doesn't remember who he is. He doesn't remember what he's supposed to be doing. He has no idea where he's going or where he's been. And uh, unfortunately, the fate of Earth is riding on his shoulders. If you like hard science fiction, which by that, I mean science fiction that like takes place in space and is very like technologically focused, then you will most likely enjoy anything by Andy Weir. He's also extremely funny in his writing. I have never laughed as hard as I laughed when I read The Martian. And if you've read The Martian and enjoyed it, I don't think you can go wrong by picking up Project Hail Mary or any other Weir title. So this is just a really fun, exciting sci-fi romp that you can just sink your teeth into before classes start as a way to kind of refresh your brain and get yourself thinking and engaged, but like in a fun way. That's Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir and you can check it out from the JCAM library today. My next title is a social science nonfiction. I'm just gonna read you the title first and then show you the cover. It's Everyday Bias, Identifying and Navigating Unconscious Judgments in Our Daily Lives by Howard J. Ross. Here we go. Love this bright yellow cover. So this book, I think, is really important for everyone to pick up. Ross uses different medical research and social sciences research to examine bias in humans, why we have bias, what is the purpose of bias. It is a self-defense mechanism, a form of protection. And uh, he looks at why our biases can directly conflict with our intentions as intelligent beings. Bias is something that is absolutely crucial for you and all of us, frankly, to understand. We need to understand that it is there. We need to understand that it is going to exist no matter how hard we try to banish it from our consciousness. And we just need to be aware that it is a thing, basically. During your time in college and your your entire academic career, you are going to be confronted over and over again by your own internal biases. I'm sure you've heard a lot of discussion about this, especially recently, but it is important to be able to recognize your bias in any given moment, to acknowledge its presence, and then to examine it critically using your critical thinking skills and compare it to all of the other things that you have learned that you know about that particular topic. Is your bias trying to veer you off course? Is your bias trying to protect you from something that makes you feel uncomfortable and maybe you should examine that further? We'll never be able to fully banish our internal biases, but it is important to learn how to work with them, work around them, work through them, maybe even take advantage of them to help us realize things about ourselves that we wouldn't have if we didn't interrogate our biases more fully. Anyway, this is probably an important one for anybody about to study some intense topics in college, aka all of you, and also really important for the rest of us who are just trying to live good, solid, healthy, happy lives and, um, you know, help the lives of our neighbors. So that's Everyday Bias by Howard J. Ross. And of course, you can check it out from the JCAM library today. This is the real purpose of the summer reading list right here. Yeah. Last but absolutely not least is Liar Mouth, a feel bad romance by none other than absolute legend John Waters. You might know John Waters um, for his mustache or also for such iconic films as Hairspray, Pink Flamingos, Cry Baby. This is John Waters' first novel. To be completely honest, I have not read this yet, but I am extremely excited to give it a go. I am just fascinated at the concept of a novel written by John Waters. 
Okay, the summary is really short here, so I'm just gonna read it to you off the page. I'll hold it like this so you can see the cover. Oh my God, I'm such a genius. Marcia Sprinkle, suitcase thief, scammer, master of disguise. Dogs and children hate her. Her own family wants her dead. She's smart, she's desperate, she's disturbed, and she's on the run with a big chip on her shoulder. They call her Liarmouth until one insane man makes her tell the truth. Liarmouth, the first novel by John Waters, is a perfectly perverted feel-bad romance, and the reader will thrill to hop aboard this delirious road trip of riotous revenge. Um, that sounds incredible. Thank you, I will take it. I honestly can't think of a better read for the era of Scammer that we are currently finding ourselves completely steeped in. So if you like scammer tales, if you are interested in scams, definitely check out Liar Mouth. I mean, this book just seems great. I'm definitely gonna read it. So like, I will be checking it out, but like then you can get online, just put a hold on it. If you wanna know how to put a hold on a book through our catalog, let me know, I will show you. And then you will be directly next in line for Liar Mouth. So you can check out Liar Mouth after you fist fight me for it, from the JKM library. And that's all for this episode of Books, 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 Books. I hope you're all excited to get back into class, back into the groove. We're gonna have a lot of interesting things coming up in the library this semester. So make sure you subscribe to our e-newsletter, The Page Turner. The subscription link will be in the description below along with any other important links that I have mentioned today. And you can follow us on Instagram at JKM Library and on Facebook at Chatham's Jenny King Mellon Library. And just a reminder, I always sign off with this, but if you have any kind of question at all, it doesn't even have to be academically related. You can always ask a librarian. Happy reading.